I got a text from Stallone about a year and a half ago, maybe about a year ago, where he said, uh, you know, would you mind have you considering playing this character again? I got this idea. It was a short text, it's Sins of Our Fathers, it said. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. And since it came from him, I, you know, I was very interested in it. Uh, and I, I never thought I'd play the character again, of course. I, I thought he was going to live in the past, wearing those, you know, Soviet trunks back 33 years ago. But, yeah, I got excited about it. And um, I think the excitement grew as I, as, as it got closer, especially since, uh, after I met Stephen uh, Capel, the director, and, and read the, his draft of the script. I was very impressed with Michael and, and Florian, you know, and it brought me back to when I did my stuff with Stallone, uh, how, you know, the way to make it look real is that you have to make it feel like 95% real when you fight. You have to be this close, you have to hit the other guy to the body, you know, you have to go full on, otherwise you can feel it on film, you can feel that it's a little bit fake. And these guys went at it full on, and um, I think the difference between this fight and Rocky IV is that this is even more authentic. Rocky IV was a little more, it had a little more of a, it's a bit more theatrical, the way I threw Stallone around and some of the big shots that he took in that movie. You know, it works in that picture, but obviously, you know, in this one, it would be a little over the top. When we find Ivan Drago, he's in a very, he's in a bad place getting better because, you know, 33 years ago he lost a fight and that led to him losing everything he had in Russia, uh, his, all his privileges during the Soviet regime uh, were taken away from him. Uh, his wife left him for some reason. Maybe Ivan did a little extra drinking that Russian vodka, I don't know. But uh, when we find him, you know, he's got this son who he's now, he's kind of turned, trying to turn his life around, using his son as the vehicle for him to come back and onto the world stage. I saw Florian's picture, uh, Sly sent it to me, and he was cast, uh, he was going to cast him, and I thought he looked good. And I wasn't sure at first because I kind of envisioned somebody blonde or like looking like him, kind of like a mini Dolph kind of guy. Not mini, but young Dolph guy. But this works really well. And Florian and I have some kind of connection that goes beyond the, the physical the resemblance. It's not so much about that. It's something else that I think we work really well together. But, I, you know, I thought it was a great choice. Stallone is smart. You know, he picked the right guy. Michael B. is uh, very impressive because, you know, physically what he's done with his body and his boxing skills, the fact that he's um, remained a really nice guy, very down to earth, and he has that kind of star quality, you know, that, that every man quality that a movie star has to have. You have to be kind of glamorous, but you also have to be like the guy next door. Stephen Capel, yeah, oh, what a talented director he is. I mean, I love working with him. I, I liked him from the first moment I saw him. When we met in, at the MGM, I could tell like in one minute that he was going to be great for this picture. And, um, you know, the way he's written are me and Florian's characters. 